Hello, geometry students. Mr. Zazik back and better than ever. Here we are in our final lesson in Unit 7. And this one's going to go uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to look at some different proportions that um, exist in triangles. So when you see proportions, you want to think like two fractions that are equal to each other. So kind of this word proportions in triangles, that's the, the topic here. So the first is called the side splitter theorem. And uh, if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, then it divides those proportionally. Okay, so first of all is let's just recognize that this is different than a mid-segment. Uh, a mid-segment of a triangle is parallel, but this is uh, not specifically a mid-segment, it's just any parallel line. And here's how I, I um, look at this. I think of this as A, B, C, D, and I just think about it as like a big fraction um, like that, that A over B equals C over D. Um, that's essentially what we have there. It's flipped around um, in the letters there, but that's how I remember that called the side splitter theorem. And again, the key to that is that it's parallel to that side and it creates a proportion. And the reason it creates a proportion is because the triangles are similar uh, because of um, angle angle, but we don't need to go into that. It's just related to it. All right, so we have a corollary, and the corollary is if any three lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional. So here again, I kind of keep this the same way in my head as I'm summarizing this, this length over this length equals this length over that length. So A over B equals C over D. All right, so I'm just creating the proportion. And somehow, for me, you might find this different, but for me, when I see that, when I kind of superimpose that little um, uh, proportion over it, it helps me uh, to remember it and to differentiate it when we do things like a, you know, a unit test or final exam kind of prep, stuff like that. All right, so then the last one is the triangle angle bisector theorem. Boy, that's a mouthful. Triangle angle bisector theorem. And it says, if a ray bisects an angle of the triangle, then it divides the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. So you'll notice here, if AD bisects CAB, and we see those little tick marks, then here again, this is how I uh, think about this. I just mark these lengths, and it's that's the kind of proportion. So A over B equals C over D. And in all of these, A, B, C, and D represent those lengths that we have. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of situations where it's proportional. Again, the first one is the side splitter theorem, so it's parallel to that side. The second one is three parallel lines with two transversals. And the last one is the triangle angle bisector theorem. So we have a triangle with an angle bisector. We've got proportional sides. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, so just kind of look at this. So find the value of x. So this is a side splitter. Uh, split, side splitter. Side splitter theorem. And uh, again, so for me, the way that I think about this is I'm just, okay, here's our fraction, right? So those, those little arrows indicate parallel. That's how we set it up. So we have 12 over x plus 1 equals 9 over x. So we go ahead and do the cross product property. Doesn't matter which side you do. I might do 12x here equals 9 times x plus 1. Want to make sure you put that x plus 1 in parentheses so that we... Uh, make sure that we distribute. So 9x plus 9. Let's subtract 9x. And we get 3x equals 9. And when we divide by 3, we get x equals 3. Okay. So the next one is find the value of a. And here again, this is the side splitter theorem. So here equals here. That's how I think about setting this up. So we have a over a plus 4 equals 12 over 18. So again, 
cross product property. It's the product of the means equals the product of the extremes. It's the cross product property. All right, and then we subtract 12a. And so we get 6a equals 48. And then we divide by 6. And so 48 divided by 6 is 8. All right, there you go. All right, last one for the unit and for this note section. We'll have some more practice um, on the assignment. But for here, this is the triangle angle bisector theorem. And as I kind of visualize this, I just think, okay, there's the fraction, there's the equal, there's the fraction. And so even though it's flipped, we can still kind of set it up in that same way over x. So we do our cross product property, 10x equals uh, 18 times 12. And so uh, I'm just getting a calculator because I can't. I'm not thinking about 18 times 12 is 216. 216 divided by 10 would be 21. All right, and so there you have it. Okay, so you got some more examples in your work, but this one is uh, pretty short and sweet and to the point. And uh, it's just um, right now it's real easy. The challenge will become for us as we get to the unit test. And again, as we you know are kind of incorporating all the things for the year is being able to identify these, um, you know, when we're looking at some whole new new content there. So, all right, good luck with that assignment, and uh, I will see you soon. Good luck at the end uh, quiz here for Unit 7 as well.